Hey everybody, what's up? Just wanted to do a quick video about what's in my medic kit, which is now kind of transformed uh, partially into my COVID compliance officer kit, health safety supervisor kit, you get the idea. But two items that are in there are a pulse oximeter, which basically measures a person's pulse and their oxygen level. I'll show this to you in a second. And also the infamous forehead thermometer, infrared gun, whatever you want to call it, thingamajiggy to measure a person's temperature. Okay, so just real quick, this is the Innovo... Uh, let me turn this over so you can get the actual model number if you guys want to see that. By the way, I will put a link down in the description or down below to both of these items if you guys want to find them online. And I'll try to keep the links as up to date as possible. But this is the Innovo Fingertip Pulse Oximeter. This is model IP900AP, as you can see there. Runs off of two AAA batteries. Pretty simple to use. The way this thing works is you basically press the white button and it'll start a display. What you do is you put a person's fingertip in there, usually left index finger, Go ahead and put that on there and it'll start doing its magic. Let's see if I can stay calm to get my pulse down. Anyway, so my oxygen level is 99 and my pulse is 95, as you can see. So left side, oxygen, right side is the pulse. And what I want to do is I just want to stay calm for a second so that I can get those nice peaks and valleys up top. See that little thingamajiggy up there? You get the idea. Well, however you pronounce that thing, basically that's telling me that... <laughs> See if I can stay calm for a second. It's hard doing a YouTube video and keeping your heart rate calm all at the same time. But anyways, you get the idea. You can see those peaks and valleys there. I'm just trying to show you that I'm looking for the jigsaw. I want to see nice, you know, patterned peaks and valleys. There it comes. Okay. And as we say, a -sa. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> okay, I'm laughing too much. This is getting a joke. But anyways, you get the idea. That's basically what's going on with this thing. It, I would have a more normal readout if I was calm and not moving around and standing up and all that good stuff. But that's what I'm doing. I'm measuring oxygen levels. Why is it important to measure oxygen levels once in a while? Because people are wearing masks during this time of coronavirus, if you're like me and you work in the movie industry, you have people moving heavy equipment and stuff, camera gear, the grip and electrics are doing their thing, set design, hair and makeup's moving their chairs around and, you know, lifting people's hair up in the air to style it and whatever. You get the idea. Set design, you know, you name the department, greens department, transportation department, getting in and out of a car. You just want to make sure that they're that they're not being oxygen deprived because they're wearing a mask and that they're getting their proper oxygen breaks, right? Make sure you to make sure to break people once in a while so that they can just take their mask off, stand like 15, 20 feet from anybody else and just let them breathe. Okay. Then temperature gun. This one, I've gone through a few of these, uh, not because I go through them just because I lose them. Somebody steals them. You get the idea. Uh, but this one's made by Lucky Socks. This one is model JPD FR202, as you can see right there. Pretty simple to use. There's two modes. There's like a human being mode, and then there's like a temperature, like inanimate object temperature thingamajiggy. But the way it works is you press the button, it'll turn on. There you go. Right now it's set to low. But if I come in close, you can see that's a human being up top right there. If I push the mode button, that'll switch over to an object. So you want to get about a half an inch away from the object, press the button, and 23 degrees Celsius. How do I make that Fahrenheit? Push this button right here. Boom, that'll turn to 73.4 Fahrenheit. And the cooler blue color, as you can see there, usually means that it's cool, like that kind of thing. Uh, and then if you wanted to go back to human being mode, you push the middle button. That would be human being mode. And then obviously a half an inch away from... The person's forehead, I like to do the temple or sometimes the ear. I think the accurate, the reading comes out more accurately. Uh, if you don't like that annoying sound, right, you get that beeping noise, just push this button right here. You're on set. You want to be quiet, go into stealth mode, right? The sound is now off because the speaker's off. So if I remeasure this helmet again and I push the button, oops. It's saying low because it's below us. It's below. Oh, whoops. I'm in human mode. That's why. Okay. Back to house mode. Push the button. 74.1 degrees. As you can see, there was no noise there. So if I turn the speaker back on again and then I measure this, there you go. There's your beeping noise. It lets you know that it's on. Turn the speaker off, measure it again. And as you can see, it remeasured it and told me that it was 74.2 without the noise. You get the idea, guys. Links to both of these will be down there in the description there down below. These are just two of the many items that are in my kit when it comes to set medic and COVID compliance officer work. Oh, 
really nice is that the thermometer comes with this plush velvet bag. So as you can see, both items fit in the bag perfectly, which is kind of cool. They both use AAA batteries, same type of system. This one takes, they both take two AAAs, uh, but the way this works is this pops off, boom. Energizer versus Duracell, to me, it's all the same. As long as you're using the same type, whatever's on sale is whatever I'm buying. And then this one, the way the batteries go in is this little button right here. You push this, boom, this opens, and there you go. There's your two AAA batteries in there, uh, and you get the idea. All right, links down in the description are down below. I will catch you guys on the next video with more from set life and what we're doing on set to keep people safe.